Hey guys, Blake here from Into Mobile, and today we're going to take a quick look at the new Google Now feature that uh, Google has implemented in the latest version of Android, Jelly Bean. So it's it's a combination of a competitor to Siri, and it's also it also provides information without you having to look, and that's a part of Google Now. And there's also the in, enhanced search aspect of it. So you can either access the new products either by tapping the the search bar at the top of your home screen. You can also access it by just swiping up from the lock screen. You see right there, as well as let me see, swiping up from the home screen button right from your dock. And there you go. And so this is just what you're going to see in the very beginning. It says discover Google now. You go next. And so these are the introduction of these cards. So say you're on your way home or, or you know you're coming from work or something like that or you're going to work um, so a card like this will automatically populate in your notification panel and you just tap on it and then it'll show you the card and then you just you can just see the uh, heavy traffic and you can customize these cards um, to your liking if you don't drive like me you can actually dismiss these cards altogether um, but it'll also give you things like when you're leaving for a vacation it'll be able to populate your flight and show if there's a delayed flight or something like that. And so after that, it's going to ask you um, if if you're in or out because it it will collect um, your your location for you know traffic alerts and directions. It'll also um, sync your calendar to Google Card, so it'll automatically populate a card when you have a meeting coming up, which actually pretty which is actually pretty nifty and helpful. Um, so I'm going to say yes, I'm in. Um, so right here, it's, it has my location, so it's San Francisco, and this actually, the sky will change color um, according to, you know, the time. So, I mean, just like that uh, live wallpaper um, that Google released in whatever version of Android, um, there was the grass wallpaper that, that would actually, the sky would change depending on what time it was. So it's a simple feature, but um, so going down, this says, you know, I'm in San Francisco, so it automatically populates the the weather I have right there, and you could actually go with this little, the three dots for the menu, you can actually go into the settings and dig into that. You can also say, show more cards. And so, yeah, so it says 25 minutes to work. It does need to confirm where you work because this is, this is r really off for me. Um, so you go to set as work and then you have a set as home. So then when that card populates, it'll automatically know where you're trying to get. Um, so, and if you don't want it, you can just swipe it away. And then you can change the settings or just press OK. Um, and then also it'll populate some, um, some restaurants or, um, that you might want to go to or a cafe. Um, so you can, and easily from, from right from here, you can check in or you can dig into more details. And let's go to El Matate or you just tap and there's the Mutiny Radio Cafe. And, you know, very, very simple kind of things. And then if you want to show more sample cards, it'll show you what it can do, like more places, uh, public transit, sports, next appointment, translation, uh, currency, and then take back home, which is um, when you're traveling in a different time zone. So now we're going to hide it. And then obviously you might be interested in the voice capabilities of the enhanced search. Now, as you'd expect, I mean, Google's been working on voice recognition software um, for a long time, and we, we are we're pretty impressed with what we see. I mean, this is, we would say that this is definitely better than Siri. Google, what's the cast of the movie Machete? Machete cast is Danny Trejo, Michelle Rodriguez, Lindsay Lohan, Jessica Alba, Steven Seagal. Cool. So the voice is actually very, very nice and significant, uh, significantly more natural than what you're going to hear on other um, competing applications of this of this sort. It also brings you um, a nice, a nice thumbnail. Actually, you know, answers the question. And if you scroll down, you'll actually be able to get more information, like the IMDb page, and it'll just kick you out to a normal Google search below. Um, sometimes there, this isn't going to happen every single time. But it, it is nice, and you just get the answer to your question immediately right there. So, and so you can either just tap on the search or go back, uh, but you can't just say Google again. Um, so I'm going to ask another, another couple of questions just to, so you get a feel for it. So uh, Google. Google. 
Who is Angelina Jolie married to? Angelina Jolie partner is Brad Pitt. Cool. How tall is Mount Everest? Mount Everest is 29,029 feet tall. Um, pictures of Game of Thrones cast. That, yeah, that actually worked. Uh, uh, who, oh, let me see. Who is the president of South Africa? The president of South Africa is Jacob Zuma. Pictures of Tarsiers. There we go. And you can see it's just very quick, and it you know it, it really hasn't gotten any anything wrong. Sometimes you know it has a little snag, but it's definitely pulling up all the questions I'm I'm asking you. Also, you can also um, ask for a definition, like, like define idiosyncratic. Idiosyncratic of or relating to idiosyncrasy is peculiar or individual. Cool. And then we also have, you can also search for what's something near you. So I'm going to ask for a cafe and, and it'll, you can see what it actually does. Where's the nearest cafe? Getting directions. So it'll automatically populate or find the closest cafe and then, and then pretty much kick you out to maps immediately and show you. It'll automatically does it from driving directions. But, you know, it's actually... Pretty, pretty simple and to the point. It's you know very easy um, to do. And so, I mean, there's other questions like, oh, let me go back. What was the score in the last Giants game? The Giants beat the Reds five to zero. You can also choose what apps that the phone can actually search for when you make a voice request. So you just go into the settings and to the um, to the phone search. And then you can actually choose what applications that you can search for. So I just checked the, uh, the finance, and now I can search for stock quotes. And actually, I hadn't tried it before I checked the box, so you might be able to do it either way. But uh, let's try it out. Uh, Google. Google. Stock quote for Google. Google closed up 2.8% at 580 US dollars and 7 cents. Cool. Google. Stock quote for Apple. Apple is down 0.12% to 583 US dollars and 30 cents in after hours trading. Stock quote for RIM. The female health company closed up 4.3% at 5 US dollars and 87 cents. It's not what I asked at all, but I... Okay. Stock quote for Research in Motion. Research in Motion Limited USA is down 0.14% to 7 US dollars and 38 cents in after hours trading. Uh, that's pretty sad. All right, so yeah, that was just a quick look at Google Now. It's actually very good from the um, you know from the get go. We're probably going to see more enhancements along the way, uh, but so far we're really impressed with with Google Now and the enhanced search as well as Jelly Bean. So uh, stay tuned for for more videos from that on um, the software side of that, as well as the Nexus Seven and the Nexus Q. All right, thanks for watching, guys.